Edwin Putz joins me now in the studio. Edwin, just to refer very quickly back to our last story there and the Southern Cross crisis. I mean, this is a worry for the health service as well because ultimately these people are going to be ending up in your care. Well, ultimately private care providers are a key factor whenever we're delivering services and they can deliver services much uh, more cost effectively uh, than we can in the public sector. So uh, we would be concerned if any of them uh, were financially threatened. Well, you, you've spoken today uh, about making <coughs> cuts and it means job losses. How many are we talking about? Well, we're not looking at job losses per se. What we're looking at is carrying out our services more efficiently and driving up productivity within the health service. And that will look at what hospitals are offering elective services as opposed to emergency services. Um, how we can segregate those issues so we can get better outcomes. Uh, more operations taking place uh, earlier with, uh, without being interrupted by uh, emergency operations and so forth. And it will mean a reduction of, of hospital beds in some circumstances, uh, more uh, care carried out at the primary sector and more carried out by the community sector. Well, frontline medical staff that you're talking about are, would already say that they are going at full tilt. Um, how are you going to balance this And if you're talking about getting productivity up again? Well, we're just after talking about a, a nursing home there. Nursing homes provide uh, the same level of care very often as hospitals uh, for about a quarter of the cost. So we do need to be looking at how we can use that sector. We'll, in terms of mental health and learning disability, we need to be working very closely with uh, the community organisations that offer a great service on that front. We need to have more people uh, receiving care in the community, receiving care in their own homes. And we need to be looking at, at, at areas such, such as the emergency services and, and, and how we can provide that care. Well, are the mental health areas the ones that are going to be targeted for cuts? You've mentioned them specifically. No, mental health is an area that hasn't been as well funded as it should have been. Um, so we really need to look at that differently as to how we can actually provide adequate support uh, for mental health uh, within the budget that we have. Well, you've talked also about preventative measures. That's one of your goals. Is that going to mean more screening? Can people relax about maybe the waiting lists in that case? Uh, we're really looking and, and going to encourage people to live healthier lifestyles, uh, incorporate it with more screening um, and, and more intervention where, where that is required at an early point uh, before it gets too late for some people. Edwin Pitts, Minister for Health, thanks for joining Thank you. us.